Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we discuss how to make a PayPal checkout. So last video I have a cover PayPal checkout and in this video we can cover Stripe checkout. So Stripe checkout inside you need to maintain inside env file like a secret key and Stripe key. I mean Stripe key and Stripe secret. So just you need to create a env file inside for these two variables and this variable again you need to add your Stripe key. I can't show because of rules and regulation is a YouTube. He can't show like a personal data. This reason I will just add Stripe key and Stripe secret key. Whatever do you want to use, you can use. Like a testing data do you want to use? Testing data you can use. So do you want to use like a live? So live you can use. But right now you can use like testing data is good for you. Okay. So let's start now Stripe with PSP. So first of all you need to install your composer inside composer request Stripe dot Stripe slash PSP. Suppose you are follow this series. So you already done inside a this command. Suppose I am going to composer.json. So you can see it is already installed. Suppose you are following the series. So you already done. Suppose you are not following the series. So it is not done. I can told you first. Okay. So this is the done. And I already write like a step by step all code. I will explain how we can do it. Otherwise take much time. This reason I just typing everything code. Let's close. Let's close this one. So okay. Let's go to back again and we can fill the form and check out. I already had inside a cart one items and we can go to Stripe. And before we can start this video, so you are new in the channel other in this series. So please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading, so always get the notification. And do you want to buy any script? Just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here. You can see it. And also do you want to develop your personal project otherwise freelancer work just contact telegram whatsapp otherwise skype we are always prefer skype okay so let's start now so just we can go to resources views inside you can see it like a payment inside you can see checkout and here checkout file is going to means the form going to app http controller inside you can see it like a payment controller and just scroll down so here you can see it like a stripe you see it you see, this is the PayPal we did last time. Now we need to work is a strap. So let's fill the form. Okay, I just make like test, 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 test because of the privacy policy about uh, YouTube. This is the reasons. Test, whatever do you want to, I don't want to create account. Just test and I see here like a credit card otherwise strap. Okay and free shipping so whatever price showing let's make a deluxe shipping so it's going to 105 now so just we can do it easily after you click on the process to check out once you click on so you can see it's going to payment order id with so just copy this url suppose we need to use again so we can use it again this is the reasons okay <coughs> now here you can go payment controller so we need to get our price so same thing we would get in last time like a total price you can see it so here we need to write our code about strap simple just i will copy but you need to write just i copy this line and i can put here so what i did use strap strap let's declare this strap up first so just you can go to use like here use strap slash strap okay always need to add this one after you can search and go down so here you can see it set api key so i already set my api key inside the env file but i can't show just you can use directly env stripe key okay so just you can put here let's refresh the page so we can check error generate cannot generate so let's go back again refresh the page so you can check it is the error there or not there so error there so he told me okay this is the error undefined variable total amount but stripe is a no any errors okay so working very well now we need to add this the total amount so just you can copy this get total amount and you can change here <coughs> and you always need to do into hundreds inside a stripe suppose you can rules and regulation you can read about stripe so you can understand easily okay Otherwise, you can do like into hundreds. Now, you can go to back our coding side and just copy for this code. I will copy. You don't want to copy. You just need to type. So, just I have copy and paste here. Okay. 
so here is the first is a there like a strap strap checkout session create so is the email address i already there inside all db so i pass here after your uh, product price whatever there you can pass here you can see it here and your product name you can pass here e-commerce okay and after you can mode is a payments and also you can see it like a payment method type is equal to cards and here is a success url and cancel url so cancel url we can use same like a checkout so you can go to back again okay so you can see it let's try now is working not working so i just make a dd here so we can see it is data getting or not getting okay dd and i just pass here session is a variable name inside a dd so we can check and here i have provided my product name okay and here is a final total so let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so taking few seconds more suppose error there so it told to me okay here is the please use secret key you can find a list api keys a dashboard api keys i think secret key is not getting here secret key we don't want to use a stripe key because of i have made a mistake so just go to like a stripe secrets okay and i can put here let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can see we are getting the data here we need to use here secret key. I will use like a public key. This is the reason generate the issue. Okay. So here I get a session. So you can see this is the session ID we are getting. This is the testing data. So we have no any issue. Okay. So let's go next step. Once you get. So next step you can check like we need to store. This is the session key inside a database. So we can use it. So just copy for this one. And you can put here. And if I can make like a one means proper codes. So here is the session ID we are getting here, whatever there. And this is the session ID I need to store inside a database. So just go to back again. And here I can store like orders and I will create a new columns. Structures, transition ID after I create a one session means a stripe session ID. So just go next, go whatever place do you want to like you can create this is the your decisions and where care 255 and nulls so here is a column create successfully now okay so we need to change this variable variable name there is a get orders you can see it here so just go down and we can change here variable so this trap session id i will store inside database and also i will store inside a one session so just you can use session here just go up and here you can type like a use session sorry because of very quick works this reasons okay use session so put inside strap session key and whatever session id i get this one now here i can pass like a public key you can see set public key just go to back again and go up and here is a public key straps key means the public key so just put here okay now we need to create a new file like a strap charge so just go to views views inside you can create a payment payment inside you can create a one file so just you can make like a payment dot strap charge so we need to create here new files one minute i will not copy this name this is the reasons i copy new files save control s and blade.php after we need to add some coding here so just go to back my step again and i scroll down so here is a step i just copy and i paste here here is the session id there let's close this file so you can see it proper way here is a session id because of i am passing here you can see data data and here is a strap charge inside i have passed data so session id there and is a public key also there you can see it and here this track checkout here is a version v3 using and here is just some javascript coding so you can see redirect to checkout you can see it here okay so let's save these files and also save these files and we can press just enter so we can check the strap work not work so let's go back again and just press the enter so once you can press the enter so you can see track checkout so it's working very well we haven't no any issue 
So, just go to back again to orders ok here is orders. So, you can see it here is a secret key found means here is a working variable. Now, we need to add like 4 to 4 to 4 to because just test dummy data. So, you can use ok we have no issue whatever let us do this one before we can short out like a success stripe payment success means that this is the routes so just go to web.php and just scroll down same thing we can do like paypal success same thing you can do it like a stripe payment success because this is our back url success payment payment success whatever do you want like let us make a payment success so we know here you can change like a stripe ok now just go to back again payment controller and we need to create a new route so just go to back again and just scroll down here you can create a new functions stripe success payment here you can make request dollar request ok and here I can make like a dd request all so we can check whatever I getting cannot getting ok so now just I can go back again and I just click on the pay button because of this is the all testing data so it's not taking time just wait few seconds and he's a back you can see payment success so he is backing back so means he is a back so we need to check here like a payment success not success so we are not getting anything but we ever store already session id inside a database and also we have store this session id inside a sessions so just go back again and we can copy this code and we can put here so first what I check like this is the session ID we have stored inside database I can show you let us see minimize so you can see this is the session ID stored inside database so you can see it here is a their session get stripe and here you also we need to use like a secret key ok so same thing you can do it like here env secret key so just you can change here after we have did like orders model inside we have made a one query where stripe session key id is equal to is equal to get data here id and get the first record so here checking is not empty also also get id is not empty ok also we are checking like uh, and and get id means get data here so whatever getting is id is equal to database inside of whatever id there is the same so is a payment is success otherwise we need to show like a same thing we are showing inside a stripe like return cart and here I can make like due to some errors please try again some error please try again and otherwise we need to put here is a success code so this is the success code I will copy inside a payment means this is paypal Apple code and I can put here so get orders we are already getting here so if payment is a success transition ID is equal to this is the get data ID and and payment data means is the like a get data we can make like a JSON encode but let us show you step by step so you can easily understand ok I just make a DD and we can show the data let us save these files just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here data is getting and not getting you see your data gettings and here you can see data is equal to complete there like a mode is equal to payment there currency is equal to usd there all things working very well we have no issue now ok so just reboot and after i can press the enter so we can check is working not working it means the order successful placed or not placed up. So, I will save this URLs and I just press the enter. So, you can see it is redirect cart and order successfully placed. Now, we can go to orders DB and we can check is working not working. So, here you can see transition ID available. Just scroll down. So, here is the is payment available. After you can see like a all payment data we have stored inside a payment data. And I can open JSON parser. And so, you can see it here. You see? So, all information I have stored inside database. Suppose sometime do you have an issue, so you can go to database column and you can check like payment data and you can retrieve anything. This reason we always store all responses inside one 
column inside it or this db okay so this is the strap checkouts i hope you are clear so it's very simple very easy first we have did here some coding here and this coding we have write like inside success message so strap checkout is a done i hope you have clear so next video we are doing sending I mean we are doing as a mail suppose anybody can send an invoice so here we can write invoice code here also write invoice code and and here is a write invoice code for the checkout payment means like a win to send an invoice so i will show you how to create invoice in next video we need to send an invoice inside a emails what product you buy what is the price what is the discount everything we can send inside a emails using the mail trip so do you want to credential you can change inside any file so you can use it you're a live one but we are using here is a mail trip okay and do you have any question for this video so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and you are new in the channel other in the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon and thank you for watching error solutions